Hey, before we start off, I want to friendly ask you to like, subscribe, and click on the bell. Now let's continue with this video. In this video, I want to explain how you can use the measure tool in TradingView on the chart, and it's a very helpful feature. So how it works is over here, you can see this icon, which says measure. If you hover over it, you just need to click on it to select it. And let's say I want to know how much the price difference is from the top of this wick, the top of the red candle, the wick, all the way down to the bottom of this wick. Then how you can do that, how you can see that easily is just make sure that this measure tool is selected, go to the top of the wick. And if you have this icon, the magnet icon selected, then automatically when you hover over the chart, it automatically will select the top of the wick or the bottom of the wick or the top or the body of the, uh, the body of the candle. So make sure to have that selected as well. Now go to the top of the wick, click one time on the left mouse button. Then you go to the part of the bottom of the wick in this case that I want to select like this, then tap on it again. And now you can see the information that you need. So basically the price difference of this point to that point, the price difference is $7,121. So that's about 28%. You can see that it's 37 bars and it's a period of 37 days because this is the daily chart. So if I uh, go to the four hourly chart and I do it again, so I select the measure tool. Uh, let's say I want uh, information from this point, the top of this wick, to the bottom of this wick, like that. Now you can see the price difference is $4,720. It's about 20%. It's 50 bars and that's a um, total of 8 days and 8 hours. So that's how you can use the measure tool. It's not possible to make sure that this information stays on the chart. So now you can see it, but if I click one time on the chart on a regular place, it doesn't matter. Now you see that it disappears again. So you can set it up to be displayed permanently. So it's only to measure things quickly and just see what the information is and then it will disappear again. So one more time, make sure to click on this measure tool set it to the point that you want to start from for example over here go down to the bottom of the part that you want to measure like this click on it one time and now you see it's added to the chart but it's not possible to add a second measure tool so if i click on it again and i select another part you see that the first selection is deleted keep that in mind now you know how to use the measure tool it's very helpful so make sure to use it and let me know if there are any topics that you want me to make videos about. I will be glad to help you out. And if you have any questions, also make sure to let me know in the comments. I hope you found this video helpful. If that's the case, I want to friendly ask you to like, subscribe and click on the bell. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. And I hope to see you back again in another video.